All right, so welcome. This is your cosmic energy forecast. But before we get started today, <clears throat> I just want to talk a little bit about um, <clears throat> I've been seeing a lot of postings and a lot of conversations where people are really attaching themselves to the outcome of this shifting consciousness that's happening. So I just want to, um, you know, say that. Uh, from my point of view, from the starseed points uh, viewpoint of what's really going on here is that we need to be cautious about the old programs of how this transition is going to be created. There is no clear path here. And so, you know, the Aquarian age and all of those kinds of heavenly bringing heaven to earth kind of concepts that have been you know, put into our programming for a really long time now, ever since I was born for sure, um, that we may not be living out those timelines. Those were, those are old patterns, those are old belief systems, um, and it they, they are misconceptions, um, as it will not look like what we have been told. No, it's not gonna look like that at all. However, I mean, I'm not saying that it's doom and gloom. There is a lot of excavating that we need to do before those kinds of um, realities get created. So focusing on the ex excavation of what's really happening here, bringing up the truths, you know, dealing with our own um, emotions, our own mental blocks, our own belief systems, like that is where the focus really needs to lie for the next year or so so all right welcome I'm Angela Blaha and this is your forecast for the week of April 31st or March 31st <laughs> little jumping ahead here to April 6th <clears throat> so today March 31st so um, you might have mm, felt the energy that sort of came into play this morning at 5:45 or so 5:30 central time anyway um, <clears throat> there, there is a big sort of energy shift that happened and it became a, um, in the energy today, there's sort of a duality in the air that, that's kind of starting to play out. Now, one, one track is very pleasant, it's very free flowing, it's very aligned, right? To those of you who are aware of it and the other is very limiting. Now, Depending on which path you follow today, there are different opportunities here. This is a huge day because this energy, when I look into the future and into the cosmic kind of energies, like it's here to stay for a little while, for at least a month. This sort of duality kind of, you get to choose which path you're gonna play in today and which field you're gonna explore, right? So it's a huge day. Um, of what is to come, two directions, two paths kind of thing. So if you are aware of the, I'm going to call it just a lighter path because I lack words for what it is, uh, do what you're intuitively drawn to, like no doubt, like have zero doubt, just do it kind of attitude. No questions asked, you're just going to trust your inner knowings and your inner higher guidance. That's important. If you are aware of the limitations today, and it could be that you're flip-flopping, right? Like, like we can flip-flop. We're if we're fence sitting and we're just we still don't really trust our own inner knowings, uh, we can flip, right? So we're not being hard on ourselves. We're not judging anything. We're just being in constant awareness. But if you're aware of the limitations, try not to take any actions. Rather view or do a reality check of your purpose and the direction that you think you want to take in life. Like this is sort of a kind of a theme for the whole week or actually it's more like two weeks. Um, so be in constant awareness of are you limiting yourself or are you freeing yourself? Be sure you are not uh, playing in the codependency world today either way. Uh, where you take on more responsibility than the person living out their own experience and their own reality, stick to your own lane and be responsible for yourself, no one else. 
Do not force the energies today. Be a turtle with a slow and steady sort of attitude rather than being a rabbit trying to win the weight, trying to win the race. There's no race to win here. There is no race at all. There is only evolution. And we go at our own pace, what we feel safe and comfortable in. Use your natural abilities and your intuition to solve any problems that might arise today. Do not try to look outside of yourself to solve problems today. It's probably not going to work. Okay, moving on to April 1st, Wednesday. Woo! A great day for restorative practices. Like healing those old patterns that sort of plague you, that sort of constantly are repeating. Like take a new action step and release from that old pattern. And then be sure the new action that you take, that's how you break, and that's how you break a pattern, is you have to take a new action step in order to break the pattern. But make sure that that action step is from this moment, like you're, you're moving into alignment and you're wanting it to be right for who you're trying to become, for who you are creating in the future, right? Like this is, this is not an April Fool joke. <laughs> this is your new way of being, like being hyper-conscious and hyper-aware of the new action steps that you take to break old patterns and old rituals. Um, that's what evolution is, right? But you need to be conscious about it. All right, Wednesday, again, staying in your own lane today, super, super important, and be responsible for yourself. Here's the deal about being responsible for yourself. When you're, like, really being responsible only for you, your family, your friends, they are naturally taken care of. And you really don't have to worry about them. Because when you divide your energy and you take responsibility for them, that's you d literally becoming separate, dividing your energy, taking care of them, and then taking care of you, and then, you know, it's a division. That's how chaos works. You are in chaos when you're doing those kinds of things. When you become attached to your family's outcomes, you are living in chaos. You become a codependent person in that moment. You become codependent on each other instead of working cooperatively with each other. See the difference? Like there's a huge difference there. We're here to support each other, not to be a codependent to each other. Mm -mm -mm. Huge difference. Be hyper aware of that on Wednesday. There is safety and comfort in being responsible for yourself. Here's what I mean. Because you know when you are responsible for yourself that everyone around you is safe. Because you are. When you feel safe, that is the pattern you are teaching. Oh, I just saw a whole bunch of light bulbs go on. <laughs> That's exactly how it works. When you feel safe and comfortable in your own, and you trust who you are, that's what you teach everyone in your life. That's what they're looking for to you to do. So don't be codependent. Mm -mm. It doesn't work anyway. I know I grew up in that kind of environment. <laughs> All right, moving on to Thursday, April 2nd. Improvements happen easily on April 2nd. Like improve, improve, improve. Some type of organization will start to filter in on Thursday and it will make you feel uh, relieved because that energy will probably tap into an old pattern of comfort uh, with having some kind of a routine. Do not attach to this routine. Stay free with the routine as it will change in your future. They're like unattach, unattach, unattach from everything because you cannot evolutionize yourself you cannot ascend if you're attached to something it's just it like it can't happen you can't have both you can't have attachment and unattachment surviving and thriving in the same reality it, it doesn't work it just doesn't work be aware of the new routine and know what part of the new routine is fulfilling. Now that you can use. 
right? Like know what part makes you feel freaking amazing. Like that's the part you want to grab onto because that's really important moving into the future, moving forward, because it's all about thriving. And if you have no idea what makes you thrive, like there are days I don't have any idea about what makes me thrive. So I'm constantly searching what will fulfill me, what will, what will, what can I do that will fulfill me? Or how can I be that creates a fulfillment kind of energy? That's really what you're looking for. So it's a great day for Thursday to expand into that kind of area. Okay, Friday, April 3rd. Woo. Curiosity is the key energy on Friday. Like be the curious cat. What new variations can you incorporate into your life on Friday? Use your logic, however, right? Like cat, that curious cat uses their logic. Um, or if you may miss risk on misunderstandings on Friday, like there's a huge energy that's um, gonna, it's a kind of a duality kind of energy again, right? And you're being very curious at the same time, curiosity can sometimes be very misleading or there can be a lot of misunderstandings which is the duality portion of it, right it's the opposite so <clears throat> curious energy wants you to explore and if you do not fulfill this exploration kind of energy and change then you may find yourself in inconsistency now you should write these things down <laughs> because curiousness versus inconsistency mm, see the duality see the opposites here like yeah yeah everything's playing out to be the opposites but you need to be hyper aware if i'm not curious about things then what am i being inconsistent about and sometimes if you're curious there is inconsistency especially if it if you're pulling yourself out of your realm where you you're really never ever very curious about things but you're all conscious leaders, so I'm gonna say that's probably not who you are. But there are you probably have clients who are very like, yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't really want to know anything. <laughs> Chances are that inconsistent kind of energy plagues them. So unless you want to learn more about inconsistency, like sometimes that's what we're choosing. But I want you to be conscious about what you're choosing. Right? You need to be aware about what you are choosing. Are you choosing being curious or are you choosing to be inconsistent? Maybe there's some, you know, some trust things that you need to learn about being inconsistent. Do you trust who you are? Do you trust those internal nudges, those that internal knowings? Or are you super inconsistent about it? Sometimes you trust them, sometimes you don't. You trust them only if somebody acknowledges it, then you trust it, or do you just trust your own self? Right? Like that's the, that's the inconsistent, like you're being very inconsistent about yourself and you're creating mistrust within yourself. Just again on Friday, be aware of what you are attaching yourself to. Like I'm a curious kind of person, like I am constantly seeking out new information. I am constantly like in this mad scientist kind of. <laughs> kind of energy like that's just who I am that's I've always been like that um, but I rarely try to attach myself to any of those kinds of things because yeah it's great information but you know if I can't apply it to my life then it becomes useless okay moving on Saturday April 4th there is much energy to support you in finding your soul family on Saturday now what's a soul family right like who are they I want to shed some light on those people soul family are those people who are like hearted not the like minded people and just be aware of this when you're looking for people you know out in the world like are they like hearted like do they have the same evolutionary quest that you have do they have the same like we want to create this world of love and compassion and like constantly like evolving or or do the like-minded 
you know, are they sort of like in their heads and are they trying to get you to their side? Or is the soul family like very supportive in who you are, no matter who you are, no matter what you believe in, no matter where you are on the evolutionary chart? <laughs> or are they always constantly saying, hey, come on, I have this over here to show you. I have this idea or this is way better than that. Like there's a difference between like-hearteds and like-mindeds. So I want you to be aware of those two ideas. And it, when you're looking for soul family, where are you at right now? Like sometimes we just need the like-mindeds, right? To pull us into some other concept or some other idea. Like they, like that's very useful. Are they soul family? For a little while, sure. I can, what through my experience though, those like-hearted people are the true soul family. Like you can depend on them for everything. So there's a little bit of a difference. Just be conscious and aware of where you're at. Um, soul family will help you to fulfill your desire for personal significance. Now this is a big deal. Personal significance, right? Like you spent time yesterday being, or on Friday, or on one day, so Friday being um, curious or inconsistent, right? Like. What's your personal significance? Like every one of us has a personal significance and we're literally moving deeper and deeper into that as we shift through this conscious evolution. Where are you at? Do you have people fully supporting you or do you have people temporarily supporting you? These are ambitious times. And you have a deep need and desire for success. Now that word, success, you need to get a clear definition for because <laughs> that one holds power. That word success holds power and your definition of what success is for you is probably not what the definition is that society has created. Has created that the mass consciousness has created this sort of um, look to what success means, right? So be very clear about what that word means to you. For me, it means to better myself. Like I am in a constant evolutionary kind of process. Like that is success to me. It doesn't matter how many cars or how many houses or how many trips I take. It's all about that I'm constantly in some sort of upward swing or some type of a swing, right? Like I need to be changing all the time. Like that's success. That does not fit humanity's definition of success. I can guarantee it. <laughs> but for me, that's exactly what it is. So be you hyper aware of what success means because if you're playing in this sort of dual energy that's consistent throughout the week, right? Well, there's a self-righteousness that's coming into play on Saturday because it's directly linked to success, right? Like those people, you know, like that, you have to be aware of that. So be hyper aware of self-righteousness and the need for success. Are you, do you have this need to be right? And who are you being right for? So success and self-righteousness do not play well together on Saturday. They do not play well together. Not at all. So think newness, not obsession. Again, get a good definition for your own working definition for obsession. What does it mean to you? Obsession is the past and new projects and ways of being is the future. So success, does it have an obsessive kind of compulsive kind of energy to it? If it does, I'm going to say that that's uh, holding power either over you or within you or some way, somehow, right? Like you want to tear that apart. That's bringing up, that's what we're doing here is excavating what that means. <laughs> and are you creating newness? 
Obsession is not newness. Obsession is repeating those patterns. All right, Sunday the 5th, increase uh, influence is super powerful today. So your ability to influence yourself and others. Kind of a, kind of a big deal on Sunday. The influence that you have over yourself and the curiosity that you're going to use to explore that and how you can become super successful in that will eventually play out in your influence, in your ability to influence others. You probably want to go back and listen to that again because I can't even repeat it. But that is what is going to be hot and heavy on Sunday is your ability to influence yourself. How are you how are you guiding yourself through this transition? Take deep notes about that kind of thing so that you can use that to help influence others. People So there's a weird factor about influencing others, right? Like that's a it's a very mm, loaded kind of a word influence in the, again get a good definition about what influence means like how do you influence others do you influence by others by just your energy do you influence others with the words that you use or the or do you use it in the denser energies by control and manipulation like be hyper aware how do you influence yourself do you influence yourself do you, are you even aware of it some things to dig into on Sunday. Monday, April 6th, it's full moon energy is very, very strong on the 6th, even though it's not the full moon yet, but the energy of it is very strong. So in your changing self, notice if this energy has the same effect on you as it did in the past. I can almost guarantee for a good portion of you conscious leaders, it's not the same. Does this energy bring into fruition what you have been working on or has it changed? Maybe it's not a fruition kind of energy any longer. Maybe it's a limiting kind of energy. Like full moon energy in my past, like years ago, when I was really conscious about the full moon energy and what it did to me, like I would stay up for days, four or five days in a row, never slept had a huge effect on me and then I there was a shift that happened within me and I, it no longer affected me at all and the energy that it brought with me with it that hyper kind of like man I could get a million things done completely disappeared so I know that this full moon energy because it's coming in so early and so strongly, it will be an awareness component for you of how you, this should be a clue in your own inner self of how you are changing. So let this full moon energy, it's a cyclic kind of energy, right? Are you still playing in those cycles, those repeating patterns? Or... Has something changed and now you are free? See, limiting cycles, free, open airness, <laughs> no longer playing in the cycles of, of the con consistent, well, sometimes it's inconsistent. But anyway, pay attention to that. Like, how are you? How is it working for you? What's changed? What has changed? That's really what we're looking for this week. How have we changed? Unattaching to everything will help you be very fluid and free. Like we all want freedom. We don't have any idea what that means or what it looks like. Because when you enter that stage of freedom in the evolutionary process, which pretty much all of you as you are conscious leaders and you um, are in this kind of energy, you, that will be a very big space throughout the summer. 
Keep in mind, sometimes when we are super free, like we don't have any, like we lose all of our boundaries. That's where codependencies can come in. Or if you're in a codependency kind of energy, maybe it'll free you up for not being codependent. And then it's like, oh, what do I do with myself now? <laughs> right? So be very, like, influential with yourself. Enjoy the week. Unattach from absolutely everything. Start to play with the freedom kind of energies versus the limitation kind of energies. And, you know, man, enjoy the times that we're in. Even though they are kind of devastating, we still need to enjoy them. So take care of yourself. Stay safe. Be amazing. And have an awesome week.